why I was now alone. The house, their home, spilled over with memories. They had always wanted a baby. Two, in fact, they had picked out names a long time ago. Time passed and though they still talked of it, none of the two seemed overly inclined to the process. Nonetheless, they had a small collection of toys in a corner of the living room, which now lay abandoned and covered, carelessly so, with a worn down white and pink blanket as if to cover up their abandoned inclinations. Maybe this was the first sign of their failing marriage, which X and Y did not and could not see. It was all this and more that Y's eyes took in as they walked around their shared space, now left to Y's complete custody. It is now Y's first choice. It was not Y's first choice. They remember now a conversation that they had in a bar off of 8th Cross and 2nd Road, Maxson Avenue. The night was breezy, warm and welcoming. Why I had had quite an eventful day at the office and was meeting X for a drink. This wasn't the usual bar that they went to. X and Y had a tradition, nearly a two-year tradition of at the brewery, which served cheap alcohol to the newly working and the new adults, the light pockets. This wasn't the brewery, which is their old pub, this was a snazzy place with famous coffee and fast shots, live acoustics and the persona of the rich college girl, intellectual, smart sounding and fun that most people tend to avoid. Not that, not this place though. Um, this place is called The Remembrance. Uh, it's quite a hit. It has an open kitchen and open seating. A friendly barman who coincidentally was a friend of Y and had helped them with their booking. X and Y were celebrating C. It had been a tough couple of months for them. Y had lost the father and X was struggling with potential fans at work. The economy was rough, their inexperienced selves were not competent to handle the pressure, and for a while it seemed that most of all was lost. This day was a celebration to mark a new chapter of their lives, as if to announce to the cruel, snooty world, hello, we made it. X was running late as usual and promised to meet Y in a few. X and Y were quite a when they both did make it for the remembrance, the remembrance's booking and had thanked the barman, their friend, the barman, for such wonderful seats, X and Y proceeded to their table for two and asked for water, regular, not mineral, tap, not bottled. Anyway, the food came quickly and hungry as X as Y was, it was X that took the first bite. It was always X that took the first bite. Y fondly waited for X to nearly finish their meal too and never realized this. Y is shook right now in the restaurant while they're eating and sitting at the table. X doesn't notice this. Y is suddenly jolted back from this picture because we were talking about her being in the house, the empty house after the divorce and she flashed back to this restaurant scene and the picture and the bar and she is not a she. Might be. It's a gender neutral sign. Why is shoulder to the present day taken from recollections to the brown packaging boxes full of collectibles, the odd knickknacks before? Why? Tears have run down from the corners of blurry eyes which seem to have lost a sense of direction. Why does not have a functional social life to fall back on?
X, even though a recluse, was always the f- fascinatingly the one with the most reliable friends. And why support system was limited to a girl at the local pet shelter where she had volunteered once and formed an extremely likely friendship. There was also the doorman and the friendly owner of the superstore who ran the superstore where they bought their food. <sighs> Had bought their food by things and begins to lower and sit on the ground. When had it all gone wrong? Why is I swivel to the faded pink and white blanket lying on the floor and hoped the mind, the Pandora box of memories would be kind. These memories they had, X and Y did. And though X's whereabouts, their current status, were all unknown to Y. Their memories together were all that remained for Y to work with alone. Maybe one day Y would look back to this day and feel relief and made it. But today was not the day.